What's going on guys? My name is Cheddar Chez, and I'm just bringing you guys a quick little video of uh, some discoveries we found. I know that some of the Cave Mod bros were poking around during the closed betas of Hawken, and uh, found some things that you can edit that might be to your pleasure, obviously. So obviously there's a lot of, you know, it's a whole visual experience in Hawken, but I want to show you guys how to take your game that looks like this, and turn it into something that looks like this. And you guys can all very easily do that. I'll have links to kind of everything, but um, I'll try to zoom in and show you guys as best you can. Uh, but there's going to be a few things we're going to focus on. We want to, first off, turn off that annoying film grain, which is just way too much. And uh, I actually did that in a few different places. I'm not sure which one was the actual hit on the head for it, but uh, I will kind of go over that with you guys. Uh, there's going to be three files, as you can see right here on your um, on the screen. Um, you're going to be editing the Hawkins system settings, the Hawken engine, and the default system settings. Now, these two Hawken files are located uh, off of your, essentially, my documents. So, most of the config files, that the two main ones, I believe, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I know that I did it on all three, though, because I'm not sure if it corresponds with different profiles or what. Uh, but we'll go over kind of the first one, uh, which will be the Hawken system settings. Now, you can find that one. You can kind of see my file path here. It's just under my documents, my games, Hawken, Hawken game, and then config. Um, and in there you kind of see um, the different files. But we're going to be looking at primarily the Hawken system settings. So, uh, as you can see, I'm opening up the one I have on my desktop, which is just a saved version. Uh, you guys are going to open up the one that's off of here, which, like I said, is my documents, my games, Hawken, Hawken game, and then config. Um, but you can open it from there. Obviously, I would save a copy just in case you screw it up, but I'll show you guys how to recover it if you do screw it up. Uh, but either way, you can see there's a lot of different options here on your screen. I'm going to go through a few of them with you. An um, uh, easy way to kind of get to these is just going to be to use Control F. Now make sure you open up these I and I files in Notepad. Um, if you open up in a WordPad, make sure you just do not save them as a Word file. I would definitely recommend just using Notepad, and you can just save it back to how it was. Uh, but the first things I did on my end here was I turned Motion Blur to False, Motion Blur Pause to False, Depth of field to false, ambulant oculation to false, bloom to false, light shafts to false, distortion to false, and let's see what's the other one. Uh, lens flare to false, fog volumes to false, um, and then I have VSync off. Now some of these stuff, um, some of them are going to kind of correspond. You're going to see that there's a few different things we're trying to do here through a few different files. Now uh, res X and res Y are going to be kind of your default resolution. Uh, but other than that, let's see, what else is there to modify in this? What I actually did just because uh, the fog was so bothersome to me, I searched fog, and then I turned actually every every word that said fog uh, to false. Uh, but you'll see, so fog volumes to false, like I said earlier. Uh, mobile fog I turned to false. Mobile height fog, false. Uh, like I said, every file, that I, every kind of code line I found with fog I had turned to false. Um, so that's going to be just about it for this particular one. Now, uh, the thing is that there's multiple, you're going to see here, different system buckets. Um, so that's system bucket 5. I know this is probably, it's, it really isn't that complicated, guys. Um, but what you're going to want to do, what I had done, I kind of went through each one of these. So right now you're looking at system bucket 1. Uh, this is where I had to return off motion blur, uh, the ambulant oculation, the bloom. I turned off all the things I did in the top there. Lens flare. Uh, let's see. I think those are just about it. But you're going to do that in every single one of these buckets. So if you want to just search, you know, motion blur and go down and hit them one by one, go for it. Uh, but I did that for every single one on this bucket for Hawkins system settings. Now, when you save this file, you'll press save. Uh, you will not save it as a text file. The only reason it prompted me for that is because I already have this as read only. Now, if, you know, obviously it won't be read only when you open it, 
Um, when you do save it though, I just did file save, uh, close the file, properties, read only. Make sure you make it read only. Um, then we're going to move along to the next file. So Hawken Engine is going to be another file that we're going to use. It's also, like I said, located off of your My Documents, My Games, Hawken, Hawken Game, and Config. In this one, um, let's see, what ex what do we change in this one? Uh, we did, let's see, this one's going to be for your FOV mod. So first off, I think the largest FOV it allows you is 90. Now you're going to put it to 89, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, you're going to put it to 89 because you're going to change this right here. Um, so if you did control F for find, you search FOV, it's going to take you to the first one, which I, like I said, you change it to 89. The second one, you're going to change this. So where it says engine local player, uh, aspect ratio access constraint equals aspect ratio underscore maintain. Yours is going to say X FOV. You're going to change that letter X to letter Y. Now when you change that 89, um, the way that corresponds is it's actually 120, uh, it's actually an 120 FOV. I, I'm not going to go into the math of it with you guys, but trust me. It's just this one letter right here, change it from X to Y. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I did in this particular file. Um, yeah, I think there's another fog one that I was playing with. Um, so yeah, so there's another one. If you search fog, it's called default fog volume material name. I erased everything after the equal sign. And that, I think, was it for that particular one. Is there? I'm not sure. And then I did image grain also. So image grain is just a few down if you just want to see it this way. If you type the word image grain, well, normally it would come up. Um, you'll get image grain noise texture name equals. I deleted everything after that one as well, just to be safe. But the uh, we're gonna in the next file, we're actually going to turn off the film grain that we, was present and is present in the game. Uh, but after that, you're going to do the same exact thing that you did before. Um, if I change this, normally, you know, once you're done, you just do file, save. Um, once that's saved, normally, like I said, this would be in the folder already. Um, inside of this, just so we are all clear, in my documents, my games, Hawken, Hawken game, config. So now you've got two files done, you've adjusted your FOV, uh, you've turned off your fog, you've turned off your lens flare, um, your ambient oculation. Um, I think I also turned off what I think it's light bars. But we're now we're going to go to a different kind of uh, folder. We're going to go into our actual, wherever your game is installed, there's a folder called Meteor Entertainment. In there, there's Hawken, installed Hawken files, Hawken game, and then config. Now in config, there's a file called default system settings. Um, in this in this file, there's some other things we're going to have to do here. Uh, so uh, as you can see, it's just another I and I file with lots of different settings. So I have my system settings is borderless. Now right under that is B allow image grain. That is true. You're going to turn that to false. Um, and then I have my res X, just my res Y set to whatever it is. Now here's where I also went through and I turned off motion blur, depth of field, ambient ambient oculation, bloom light shafts, distortion, um, I lens flare, and I believe I turned off radial blur. And then I believe those particular ones, and like I said, you just change those values from true to false. Now, as you can see, when you go and scroll down, you're now at your, you're at your low setting. So this is where th most of these things will probably be false already. But um, don't forget, allow image grain is on the bottom of these particular ones right here. So if we scroll down some more, you're not going to mess with any of these. Uh, now I'm in your medium settings uh, for your default system settings file. Uh, make sure you go through, turn all of these defaults again, your motion blur, your depth of field, your ambient oculation, bloom, light shafts, distortion, lens flare, radial blur. And then do not forget your allow image grain on the bottom, the B allow image grain. And I did that all the way down through these files. And you're going to do the same thing you did before. Um, obviously, oh, this one I already had unticked. Uh, you'll save it, and then you will make sure you make it read-only. Now, I had copied these files to my desktop because if you make the mistake like I did, uh, if you press this settings button or you get a patch, it will kind of go, it will overwrite those files no matter what. There's nothing you can do about it. So, 
Um, if you do that, you just do what I do. Have these files copied, paste them back in their corresponding folders. These two Hawken files, Hawken Engine and Hawken System Settings, go in this route right here. And then your default system settings is going to go in your Meteor Entertainment, Hawken, this route right here. But other than that, I hope that guys, I hope that helped you guys out. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Big shout outs to uh, Volition, Budokai, all these other guys, uh, Red Baron, who were kind of toying with this the other night with me. Uh, but yeah, take it easy, guys. I hope this makes your Hawken experience a little bit more enjoyable.